welcome back guys so in this section of the course we will going to learn how to work with POSIX timers so POSIX timers are nothing but these are POSIX compliant timers which are designed to perform or run on Unix operating systems so you need to have a Linux running on your machine in order to do this course conceptual way the course is not very specific to Linux because whatever the concepts that you will run regarding timers the timers are implemented in that way only this is more of a conceptual course but all the demonstration that I will show you will be on Linux operating system all the codes that we will going to discuss can be downloaded from this URL so visit this website or fork out this repository and create a copy of the source code on your local machine we will going to discuss all the source code which is present in this directory so after this section you will be able to create update and delete Linux timers you will be able to restart pause resume or reschedule the timers at your will we will be able to fire periodic one shot or exponential back of timers and you will be able to create or design applications which are timers oriented once you get a pretty good hold on the timers then you will be able to implement timer biased algorithms and state machines so towards the end of this course we will going to build our own custom timer library right so do it as a mini project and add a mention of this project on your resume to add a value so prerequisite of this course is that you must have Linux operating system running on your machine either as a virtual machine or native operating system then you must be familiar with the callbacks or function pointers because timers are implemented or they are heavily dependent on function pointers for their implementation and of course as usual all the demonstrations that I will show you or all the code that we will discuss will be in C so note that this course is more of a conceptual in nature once you understand how timers are designed and implemented then you can implement the timers using your own favorite programming language be it Python Java or any other so note that we are learning programming concepts and not programming language or Linux right so best of luck guys and I hope you will enjoy this course this course will going to be very much interesting